Hello and welcome to Disgraced. This is a game by Corrosive Studios, same folks that did uh, Waste Walkers, if you're familiar with that one, sort of like a zombie survival kind of thing. Uh, it's uh, it's made with uh, like RPG Maker, so you kind of get the idea of how it's going to to look. But basically, we are a uh, we're in feudal Japan, and we're about to be uh, conscripted into the new tyrannical shogun's army, and uh, it takes place from there. We'll go ahead and start the game. We'll get kind of a story going, and I'll explain a little bit more as we get into it. Uh, speak, by the way, this is very early access, alpha, as you can see down here. Uh, feudal Japan, after a series of harsh struggles and brutal wars, the country was ultimately taken over by a vicious warlord who declared himself Shogun. He recently issued an edict enforcing the construction of large amounts of civilians into his imperial army to maintain order and control over the nation. Ruling with an iron fist and imposing his own beliefs, many were outraged by his accession. Revolts and uprisings, uprisings are now common across the country. Unrest is everywhere. Rumors have been circulating that a rebellion is forming and will soon rise to expel the corrupt and malevolent regime that is currently holding control over Japan. So that is uh, basically where the game takes place. We are about gonna, we're in the army right now. We're about to, we're, we're, we'll see what's going to happen here in a second. But we, uh, I haven't played much of this. I've just sort of dabbled in it a bit, done a little bit of the tutorial, but... Uh, from what I have read, we were going to hire uh, some cohorts to join us, and I guess we're basically going to set up like a base, and the idea here is that we will overrule, eventually, the Shogun. Take him out, maybe become Shogun ourselves? I don't know. I like the look of the deserter guy. This is basically just the look of the person, so yeah, we like that guy. Uh, I don't know what Ryo is. I haven't played the game long enough to know what that is, so... I mean, is that... I've never... I don't know what that is. But uh, we'll be a commoner. We are no noble. Now we get to pick this. We're building our character, the RPG style. Um, we're going to go with... I'm going to go with agility. Take some evasion. Yeah, we don't want to get hit. And we can also do... What do we value most? We we can do the integrity. Bonus protection and damage reduction. Should we do that? Yeah, we're going to do that. Uh, my character's name? I am Nook, by the way. Not Hukaru. Nope, 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 nope. There we go. Nope, not that one either. Okay. Now we have to spend some skill points. So we're going to get three. We can we can add three things. We have some passive abilities we can have. We have techniques while we are fighting. And we also have some training, which I don't really know how that works. Um, allows us to regenerate morale. Initiative training. Toughness training. Zealous. More morale. Hazard avoidance. That sounds like a good one. Ooh, heavy armor. Heavy weapon. Triage allows where to effectively effectively treat wounds. Hmm, that sounds interesting. I don't know what we want to do. We can do even more dodging. We'll never get hit. Oh, here we go. It allows the warrior to use exotic weaponry. Yeah, we want that. Definitely. Uh, is that all of... Oh, that's all of our... We, we get three points. So if we do that, we're putting... We put all of our points into using exotic weapons. None, none of the passive things... Um, sure, whatever. That's fine. Do we want to view the tutorial? No, I have done that already. So we will skip that, and I will explain what's going on here. Uh, we can play in hardcore mode, which sounds awesome. Things are much more difficult, but we can't save if we do hardcore mode. Hardcore mode. Uh, so we're not going to be able to do it, which is a bummer. So we're constructed into the Imperial Army. You have little choice but to do as you're told. You've been given your first mission. You are to travel to Horo, a farming village that has, hasn't been paying a tribute or taxes and levy them. So time to go get some taxes out of the poor farmers. This is my captain here. Uh, this is the village that hasn't been paying the taxes or surrendering supplies to the Shogun. We need to find the village elder and find the supplies that they've been hiding and keeping all to themselves. Move out! There you go. I'm the guy without the hat. Come out! We know you're in there. Don't make us come in there and get you. I'll just make... Th it'll just make things worse for you than there already are. Please don't hurt us. We've done nothing wrong, says the old man. You have failed to pay taxes for months, and you haven't been haven't been donating supplies. I don't care if you have enough or not. The law states that each village must pay taxes and donate resources to our glorious Shogun. The taxes are too high. We don't have any more to give. As for food, we barely have enough for ourselves. We're living on scraps now, and with winter coming, if we have to give any away, we won't even last until spring. Japan isn't going to survive if all the farmers decide to be selfish dogs. You've committed crimes against the Shogun as well as the entire country, and now you and your accomplices must pay up. Be reasonable. We are forced to give almost half of our harvest, and we have had a bad season. 
We barely have any to go around. We cannot be expected to give half of what we have. We simply don't have enough. Enough. I won't stand for this any longer. Look, go check out the storehouse. Report back to me when you're done. Okay, Captain. To the storehouse, which we can talk with him and say, hey, Captain. Storehouse is in the northwest corner of the village. If you don't find uh, anything there, check the other buildings. Okay, they're going to stand guard there and keep the old man at bay. So let's head up here to come check out. Hey, chicken. Can I... Nope. What's she have to say? Please, you don't have to do this. We already told you we don't have anything here. We have a very small amount of saved food in the storehouse, but we we're barely able to sustain ourselves. Uh, the blinky things we can look inside. Oh, there's nothing in this one. Let's go in the storehouse here. Get to the storehouse and take a look around. You see very little food and a small amount of supplies. It looks like this place has been has seen better days. Alright, what do we got in here? There's a chest. We have some equipment and some water. I will take it. <laughs> I, mine. What's this? A candle. A dog. And a bowl. Right. Whoops. Okay. Storehouse. It wasn't clear before, but it is now. Alright, now we have to check out the remaining buildings now. So this is, uh, as I said before, super early access. Hopefully they, they up the resolution. I'm assuming they will as time goes on because this is, like, pretty uh, low. House is almost completely empty. There are a few typical household uh, items around, but there is no use for or value supplies to be levied. Look at me. I'm a jerk. I'm going to the houses now. I'm stealing their fans. Interesting that it's random. I played this little bit before, just kind of getting all the settings good to go, and there were different things in the barrels. Like, I never got a fan before. In here, nothing. Um, is there another? Oh, that's the old man. So let's go up this way. Let's go over here where the chicken is. Yeah, wait, chicken. I'm trying to go inside. Uh, stable's filled with all kinds of farming equipment, but there isn't anything in here out of the ordinary. Not even a horse. I'll take a bandage. That's nice. I don't think I can pick anything up if it's not blinking. I think it has. To, I, I think has to be blinking to get it. Uh, is there anything up this way? No, nope, just a chicken. This is what? This is the fishing hut. Smells musty and reeks of dead fish. However, there isn't really anything in here. Not even a fish. What's in here? Nothing in the chest. And a rag. Okay, we got him. Report back to Captain. Hey, Captain. What'd you find? I found nothing. There must be some, some more somewhere else. I can't... I have only such a small amount. Please, I told you, we don't have anything. We don't have any. Now you've seen the truth and you still think we're lying? We have nothing to give. Liar. The captain shoves his sword into the elder. Men, kill any who stand in your way. Find those missing crops and taxes. I can tell him they don't have any here or I can attack him. I'll just tell him. Are you questioning my command? I'll have your head, traitor. He charges towards you. Oh, yeah? Well, bring it, captain. All right, so we have choices here. We can... We can do a technique. Do we have any techniques? No, we can just punch. Oh, well, let's punch him. Punch the captain. Punched him for one. Swing and a miss. Uh, let's just do a plain old fight. Ooh, nice. I'm evading because I'm an evading guy. Uh, what if we hit block? No, he still hit me. All right, fight him. End him. Yeah, take that, Captain. We gain five experience. No uh, points when you every time you level up, you gain some more uh, points to spend on your leveling up things. Okay, cool. Do I, I just gain all this stuff? Oh, I got a sword. Narrowly escaping the other soldiers, you hastily retreat into the nearby forest. Now a fugitive, you must dwell only in the shadows in order to survive. I could have taken the other soldiers out. Just over two months have passed since you deserted, and things have continued to get worse throughout the country. You have been staying in a mostly abandoned mining town in the west that is fairly remote and lies far away from any other civilization. This place has been a refuge for you, as well as numerous other outcasts and runaways. Everything will soon change. So now we're getting into the the revolution part of the game. We're going to, I guess we... we we can form like a party. And so whenever we do fights like that, uh, we're going to have multiples of us fighting multiples of them. 
sort of um is that old heroes might magic is that that's what that reminds me of uh either one who they call nook i am who wants who wants to know the name's not important only my mission is well my name is important apparently i was sent to contact you and see if we could help each other it's no secret that the country is in chaos many believe that it is time for a revolution if we can form a large enough resistance we may have the chance to start moving things in the right direction we just need support what do you want from me you had the courage. You had the courage to stand up for what was right, and you stood up to your officer. That takes a lot of strength. I think our cause would benefit greatly if you were involved. Let's do this. I'm glad to have you with us. All right. Our goal is simple: to liberate Japan and root out the corruption in the government. Oh, <laughs> this won't be easy. There's going to be a lot of work involved. This will require dedication. First thing we need to do is establish a base of operations. This village has already pledged their allegiance to our cause, so we have our first location. Now we just need the supplies to make it function. We have a small amount of supplies already, but we're going to need much more to be able to rise up and eventually strike back. First thing you should do is go over to the safe house that we have set up just across the road and go to the cellar. Go ahead and set up a supply cache for you and the other resistance fighters to use. This will be vital for us. Okay. Shogun Nook. That's a good, good ring to it. All right, let's take a look at some of, our, some of our options here. So we have an inventory, and we have our one weapon, which it's not... Do I have a choice here of uh, exotic? I want an exotic one. All right now we just have this. Is Am I using it? How do I tell what I'm using? Oops. I don't know. But we have, we have skills, which we don't really have any, any skills. That's just that. Um, equipment is not telling me anything. Oh, yeah. Oh, wait, no. i got to change my weapon. Change. Weapon. We want this one. Yeah. I don't have any ammo. We have a hat. We have a, a, a body armor. Nothing for our legs. Small pack. Nothing for accessory. Okay. So these, the, I don't know if you, I know, you noticed there, but the, uh, the weapons do have durability, which we need to repair as time goes on. Otherwise they will break or find new ones. Uh, there is a map, but it's not available yet. All right, so we're going over here to check out the uh, supply shed. Is that what this was? Oh, safe house. Oh, here we go. Safe house cellar. Go to the ring, I'm guessing. That's what it's trying to tell me. This point is empty and can be upgraded. Supply crate. Oh, I can, I'm building. Okay. Build it. Let's stash some supplies in there. Um, some equipment? Do I have any? I'm not sure what this means. Oh, the equipment. Alright, that's right. I grabbed the one equipment. Ah, I get it. I got it. I get it. So let's stash. We're gonna stash one equipment in there. And we'll stash... Do I have any of the materials? Um... I don't know how much I have. How do I see what I have? So I have one equipment, I have seven influence, and I have one ration. So can I put those in here? Yeah, just stack it, yeah, toss it in there. And I have a lot more materials. Yeah, put them all in there. No, oh, maybe not. All right. Uh, what's this thing? A uh, bedroll, I can be slept in. So we can sleep. The only way of saving the game is by going to a bedroll or a tent or something and uh, and sleeping. So that's... That's what that is. Is um, Oh, here we go. Here's our supplies. So we've got eight. Oh, I clicked, I guess. Uh, eight of that one. No rations. One of that one. Maybe I should put my rations out. I'm just trying to find some more. Return to the stranger. Who's this guy? If only we had more of a voice. Rebellion wouldn't be necessary. Well, then I wouldn't get to use my cool sword. Alright, Cap er, Stranger. Now that the supply cache is set up, the others will be able to use it. We're starting to get a foothold here. That's uh, that's what we're going to have to do for a while before actually fighting back. Building up like this is very important. Also, I think it's about time we were properly introduced. My name is Mitsuo. I know your name already, but now you know mine. I should have probably told you sooner, but I had to be sure I could trust you first. I think it'd be good for a good choice for a leader of our cause. We're always looking for others who show real character, leadership, and bravery. Those are qualities that make great leaders. And I see them in you. 
Now, back to business. Our cause will need support. If I, if we hope to accomplish anything, we'll need to liberate the surrounding settlements and get more people backing us up. That means we're going to need to expand. I'm putting you in charge of founding and governing one of our outposts. I thought I was the leader. You'll be in command of the settlement, and you'll be deciding how to do things there. It will be your duty to protect it. You're hereby granted superior status. Thanks, buddy. I've marked a location for you to build. It's an for you to build. It's an old village named Kibo that sits near the water to the southwest of here. I've sent two trusted men to meet you there and help you establish an encampment. They're head there now. Are they uh, good leaders too? Um, oh, I can buy things. Do I have some money? I have 23 gold. Um, I would like... Oh, hey, check that out. Okay. Fish, meat, porridge. That's Pottage? Is it supposed to say porridge? Um, I will take... I'll take some tea. I'm sure this is very important. <laughs> to be buying right now. How about equipment? For me. Oh no, this is just, that's just my equipment. I want to buy equipment. Well, I guess the hostess wouldn't have equipment now, would she? Oh, I, I can ask her questions. Heard any rumors? Not recently, just a few people talking about how bad everything is right now. Everyone is waiting for things to start getting better, but that won't happen unless someone does something big. Like Shogun Nook, you mean? Oh, well, there isn't much to tell, really. I was born in this village, and I've lived here my entire life. My father owned this place before me, and when he passed, I inherited it. At least I'm not starving in the streets like most of the country. Not at the moment. Uh, I don't need anything. The only th thing I need is to keep serving customers here, because business hasn't been so good lately. No one has any money, and taxes seem to keep going up. Yeah, I have to close this place down. Well, you're charging tea that costs six gold. Could be the problem. Who's that guy? He has a name. Let's go talk to him. Um. Oh, who's this guy? I'm a samurai. Oh, I was a samurai. My family was killed when I was away on campaign, and there was nothing I could do to save them. I have nothing left to lose. This is Heinen. It's out of the middle of nowhere and under rebel control been here for a long time. It's been a retreat for me. Um, I need a follower. I don't quite have enough influence. I need to know that I'm doing the right thing. I need to be a part of something worthwhile. My previous master led me far astray and I lost everything. I won't let that happen again. If I had 20 influence, 20 influence, I could hire that guy, but I don't have any. Why am I walking slow now? Gotta hit the button to make me walk. Uh, what's my, where's my controls? Not the map, not the map. Controls. Um, middle click. Did I middle click? It's using my stamina, but okay, whatever. Uh, so how do I get to Kibo? Go down the road? I don't like this slow walking. Let's work together. Taxes are ridiculous. Yes. What's going on? Trading post. Here we go. Let me see your wares. Uh, oh, here we go. Here's a sword. Do you have one that's exotic? That looks exotic. How do I tell whether it is an exotic weapon or not? This is only seven for these? I need some new boots. Yeah. Can I, can I not buy those? They're grayed out for some reason. Alright, whatever. We're leaving. Alright, let's go. Alright, so let's go up this way and see if we can figure out how to get out of this place. Mine's closed off. This is somebody's house. We don't want to go in there. <laughs> right. Can't go in there. Oh, let's talk to these guys. Maybe they, they look like they're ready to go somewhere. Oh, these are just some rebels. Alright. My followers, I should say. Who's that guy? Haro. What is it? My fishing rod broke in half, and I need to catch fish to feed our people. I fish it, but the wood splintered and won't go back together. Do you think that if you find one, you could bring it to me? Make it worth your while. Uh, sure. 
I'll give you some fish that I have saved if you can do this for me. I'll be right here so you manage to find a fishing rod. Let me know. Will do, buddy. I'm going to give a um, Haru. Oh, there we go. There's the circle. <laughs> sure, we'll find you a fishing rod. We'll leave in town now. <laughs> All right. So we're on like the the big map, which I can't zoom or anything. We're just going to very slowly walk. Who's this guy? Oh, patrol. We don't want to fight him. I don't know. Maybe we do. Maybe we could take him. What's this town? Oh, there's Kibo. Oh, you must be Nook. I was instructed to meet you here to ensure your safety. I am Satoru at your service, and I will protect you with my life. We should in, uh, head inside to meet Shinji. He's been waiting for your arrival. Oh, he joined my company. Cool. Hey, now we walk faster. Good. Who's this? I pray that our cries will be heard. Let's go check out the buildings. Uh, building has been damaged. Talk to my advisor about restoring it. Oh, that one's been damaged. What about this one? Welcome to Kibu. I'm Shinji. I understand we've been given the task to establish a base here. I will assist you in any way that I can. Think of our group as an arrow. You're the arrowhead. I will be the feathers to get you to your goal. Oh, very poetic. I was instructed to fix up this old storehouse and turn it into a makeshift headquarters. I'd say it works for now, but we should upgrade it more when we can. This is, was a ghost town, so the buildings are still in rough shape, I noticed. I'll be overseeing all of our base affairs. You'll be in charge, but I'll be the one making things happen. All you have to do is come and talk to me whenever you want to upgrade. have upgrades built. You'll also need to get us these supplies. Mitsuo sent me some supplies for you to start off with. There should be enough to set up a few things around here, but we should really focus on obtaining more. Don't forget to collect them while you're out and about. I'll also be doing what I can to gather more of these supplies and raise gold and influence. Check with me every so often, and I'll give you what I can muster. Anyway, I'll let you get to it. I'll be here if you need me. Oh, thanks, buddy. What can I do for you? Uh, what can we do? No, never mind. We'll deal with that later. Fixed your point. What can we put there? Oh, civil. We'll start with civil. Oh, we can put a. Ooh, we can put a bonsai, or we can do this. A shrine to Nook. Cost 25 Ryo. We only have 20 Ryo. Oh. What about a bonsai? 25 Ryo as well. Can we put a suit of armor there? Nope, these are all 25. Yes. Alright. That's interesting. Uh, that's something. Oh, here's a place we can sleep if we want to. We don't want to do that just yet. What are we at? We're at 20... Oh, we have 22 minutes. All right, maybe we will sleep, and we'll put a cut here. Um, so I I will probably continue this. Just let me know if you want me... If you want to continue this. But we probably will. Because I'm intrigued about what's happening here. Get out of the way. i got to go back to go and sleep. Get out of the way. Thank you. So we'll head to the bed and, and sleep. Are you sleeping in here with me, buddy? That one. Okay. Game saved. All right, so thanks for watching. Uh, so this game is, is Disgraced is the name of the game. It's on Steam. Um, check back here. I'll probably do another video. I, I kind of want to continue this, so we'll see how far we can get uh, before we die at least. So uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.